What's up YouTube, it's Chuka the Barber and I got a tutorial step by step for you guys today, okay? This is the cut I did. This is the God Fade. And the reason why I call it a God Fade because look at the fade, it has no beginning or no end. Also through a design in there. Okay, so these are the tools I used. These are the Five Star Seniors by Wall. I got the standard blade on them. The Premium Guards, 1 16th, 1 8th. The Enhanced Clear Card. The Rich Barber Straight Razor. Enhanced Pro Barber Hair Fibers in Black. The Enhanced Hold Spray. And then the Wall T Retros. I really like these trimmers. I got a modified blade on them that I modified with the one minute blade modifier. This is the key to sharper lines and closer shaves. So if you see my liners performing so well, that's because I modified the blade. I know that's a big question in the industry, so that's it. That's the key to it. Let's get into the tutorial, okay? So first thing I do is comb the hair. Then I got a one eighth guard on there. I'm going against the grain, taking off all the bulk of the hair. Then I got the T retros. I'm gonna start my guideline, okay, all the way around. You can see I'm not putting a hard guideline in there. Wall five star seniors, lever all the way open, going with the grain. And I'm just trimming the hair a little bit more and this lays it down real smooth. Now I'm about to do the lineup. I got the enhanced hold spray. This is also a lining spritz. So I'm gonna spray that. Let that dry, get the T retro trimmers. Now I'm gonna start my lineup. Always start doing one half. I start from the middle and I go to one side and I get that nice and clean. And then when I do the other side, I start from the far left corner and then I bring it to the middle. See how I kind of start to bring it across. Make sure you get very detailed with the line, it's important. Take your time. Make sure that the symmetry is right, it's even. Now I'm gonna just bring my guy line up a little bit, kind of flicking at the end so I could help this transition happen. Got the five star seniors, lever closed. And I'm gonna just begin my fade. And this is how I fade, I just take it up a little bit. Now with this, I'm flicking it into that closed lever. So I got the line completely out. Now I get back to the fade. Now I adjust the lever just slightly, just a little bit. You don't gotta do a lot, just slightly. Now begin to fade. Bring it up a little bit and make sure I see the transition happening. Make sure it's smooth, make sure it's blended. Adjust the lever and then take it up some more. This allows me to get these really tight God fades like it allows that transition to, that blend to kind of you don't see no beginning you don't see no end adjust the lever bring it up some more just keep working it all the way up all the way open bring it up some more with this technique you can just see the fade coming together as you do it it might sometimes look like you're taking it a little high, but you just gotta get used to it. You gotta, you know, have faith in the technique and know that like it's gonna balance itself out. So I got the one 16 to guard on. I got the lever all the way open. I'm going against the grain and I'm just blending it into that one eighth against the grain and making sure that it transitions smooth. So I adjusted the lever again halfway. And I'm just going below my last adjustment. Now I'm closing the lever and I'm gonna just go over that last guideline, that last adjustment that I did and just watch it blend together nice and smooth.
see the transition is clean. Now you can use this technique for lower fades, mid fades. This one's a more of a high fade because it's low on the top, so it looks good. It works. It's a kid cut, so you know it lasts. And then you also want to give you know fades according to like the head shape. You know, giving your expert advice and, and and choosing the right type of fade for the person's head and the look. So uh, same thing on the side. I'm doing the same technique. So we're gonna speed it up and get through it. But it's the same technique, fading upward, starting with the lever closed all the way up until it's open, and then throwing the 1 16th card on to blend it into the top. See how I'm going against the grain. You always want to go against the grain when you're fading, especially when you're doing tight fades, because that's what's going to give you the cleanest cut, the nice transition, the tight fade. So I always like to go back and touch up my fades. Make sure that the blend is flawless, get out any dark spots, and really get detailed with the fades and the blend. Just my work in general. And when you really understand that it's all about the detail, it's really all about knowing that everything matters, then that's when your work really starts to change. That's when you start really seeing like leaps of improvement, like huge leaps of improvement in your work that you're putting out. Now let's start the design, okay? So just watch how I do it. And the good thing about designs, the reason I like designs is because it grabs attention. And also too, like watching designs allows my create it stimulates my creativity, my imagination. So um, watch this design, try it out too, add your own touch to it. But the more you kind of get in designs, the more you really start to like develop this creativity and and you start understanding like detail and artwork and stuff like that and then you start blending it like you bl blend that state of mind into like your haircuts because you start to appreciate you know every aspect of the art and the creativeness of it so uh so yeah check it out watch how i do it see how i use the trimmers the edges how i draw with it how i first just put the outline then i go the outline could look sloppy at first then i go back and just touch it up, you know, and then I start to bring it to life. And what I mean by bring it to life is that the lines aren't just gonna be like one way, even all around the design. Like you go back and bring it to life by giving like some parts, making the line thicker in some parts in some areas and just, just making it like look like some type of artwork in a way, you know? And that's when you bring it to life. You don't want it to look dull and dead. You want it to look like it's alive and it's it has shape to it. And it has like, then even you can sometimes do blends and add the contrast to it and stuff like that. So just have fun with it, try new things. And uh, you know, I, I, I highly suggest that you, that you try, you know, designs because it really makes this, haircutting thing really exciting and allows you to put an extra touch on it you know your personal stamp First, I'm gonna just draw it, you know, just sketch it right there, and then I'm gonna go back, clean it up, and make it clean and give it life.
Now I'm gonna use the enhanced hold spray again. Spray a little bit on there. And I'm gonna add the enhanced fibers in black. Now this is gonna enhance the cut a little more. It's gonna make it pop, make it grab that attention. All right, so I just put a little bit. I'm just putting a little bit just to give it a more fuller look. What I like to do is go back and touch it up a little bit. Just really get it nice and clean. And remember, this is art. This is it's in the details. You gotta treat it that way. And I like to use work like this. You know, I always promote my work on social media, Instagram, and stuff like that. So I always use work like this to really grab attention. And, you know, you can promote your services. You can promote your, you know, whatever you're doing, you know, by doing something different and unique and creative that grabs attention. All right. So, you know, you want to maximize the situation, you know, give the great haircut, the great service. And then take some pictures or shoot a video, put it on social media, and promote your brand, your business, yourself, anything with it. Because this type of stuff grabs attention. It's, it's different. It's unique. Okay? So, yeah. Again, dive into it. Details. 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 Remember, we're trying to get mastery. We want mastery so that we can continue to grow and add some new, like, styles and techniques and stuff to our, you know, current skills. So, the real goal here is is to really approach your work with the mindset of like mastery and when you approach your work that way it really pulls out like everything you got in you to really like perform and grow and just you know create this work of art so uh, yeah think mastery when you when you cut when you're when you're doing your work your designs or anything think mastery approach it with that mindset and that's how you really start to grow that's how we grow that's how i grow all right, and there we have it. That's the final cut. I call it the God fade because the fade ain't got no beginning or no end. All right, do the design on there, put my stamp on it, enhance the cut with the enhanced hair fibers, and uh, that's it. That's my work of art. So don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the cut. Let me know what you think about the design. I hope this video brought you some type of value and maybe even taught you something new. All right. So I'm out, Chuka the Barber. Make sure to subscribe. Till next time.